Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a fantastic day. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in Psalm 118 and verse 24, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. My friends, I'm rejoicing and I'm glad I'm grateful to the God of the Bible for allowing me to live and to see another day. And it's an honor to be able to speak to you today. And I pray that uh, your day is going well. And even if things are happening today that you may not like, at least you have today. And God will bless us to see tomorrow and however long the Lord will allow us to be here. So let's rejoice in the day and let's enjoy this beautiful day, even though this day has been designated. Now, it's the day that the Lord has made. Do you hear me? This is the day that the Lord has made. But uh, this day has been uh, uh, designated, look at this, a proclamation on Transgender Day of Visibility, 2022, uh, March 30th, 2022, Presidential Actions by the President of the United States of America. This is a proclamation. Uh, this is not a proclamation that's going to do anything to help with inflation. I know that he is uh, tapping the strategic oil reserves, which is not the best way to bring these prices down. The best way to bring the prices down is the drill, baby drill. Allow U.S. or uh, all uh, manufacturers to manufacture oil. What are we going to do about what's going on over with Russia and Ukraine? And oh, by the way, there's no point in talking about Ethiopia. Nobody's interested in that. Uh, and what about the violence in our streets, the smash and grab, and all of the things that, that are going on? What do we get today with all the problems that we have? What do we get from the White House by, by the president? of the United States of America, a proclamation, listen to this, to everyone celebrating Transgender Day of Visibility. I want you to know that your president sees you. The first lady and the vice president uh, and, and the second gentleman and my entire administration see you for who you are. Now, I wonder if they're with one accord uh, like they weren't when they talked about uh, uh, the uh, sanctions, the, the vice president said the sanctions were a deterrent. Everybody on the president's team said this, that, that talked in the news said the sanctions are in place as a deterrent. The president said he never said that the sanctions were a deterrent, even though his, his entire administration said that the sanctions were supposed to be or they were put in place as a deterrent. Now, we all know that they didn't deter a thing. So I wonder if the administration is with one accord today. So he's saying the, the first lady, the vice president, the second gentleman and my entire administration see you for who you are in, in the point that the transgender don't know who they are in, in the point that you got a, got people who are trying to dictate their reality by their minds. They are ignoring biology. They are ignoring science. They are ignoring common sense. They are ignoring their birth certificate. They're ignoring nature. They're ignoring everything and coming up with their own identity. And I just listened to a podcast of a young lady not too long ago, just a, a beautiful girl who, tra who went through her transformation and she was taking a, a, a those uh, testosterone shots, she said the needle, the needle was three inches long that she would have to put in her muscle, in her quad and just work it and get it down in the muscle, a three inch needle and a fresh shot of uh, the hormone testosterone. And, and she talked about how she felt with the testosterone roaring through her body, but she's a female. 
the conflict that went on in her. And guess what? She has uh, transitioned back to being who God made her in the first place. So I wonder if, if, if we you, you own this transgender visibility day, do you see her as well? Look at this. The administration sees who you are made in the image of God. How are you going to bring up God in this? If the transgender community was satisfied with the image that God made them, then they, <laughs> they wouldn't be transgender. I got to laugh to keep from crying. Oh, there's something wrong with us. No wonder we're ranked uh, uh, 25th in the world with math and science and all the things that we really need. And instead of bringing our students up and making our kids smarter, uh, 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 we, we, we're attacking the state of Florida because Florida decided to protect all children. And we, we came out with a, uh, the, 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 the media has a mantra uh, a statement that they know is false. I have the entire bill right here uh, from uh, the state of Florida, and they call it the the "Don't Say Gay" bill. I have the whole the, the whole thing right here in my hand, and the word "gay" is not in the bill at all. The bill is designed to protect children. So here we're saying that uh, made in the image of God. So if you're made in the image of God. Do we go with the image that God made or do we go with the image that you're making? Do we go with a young lady who's trying to, uh, you in your, you, you, you're transforming, you, uh, you, you're becoming a guy. So, so much for the image that God made. Or are you saying that God made a mistake? And so now you guys are smarter than God. And since God put a man's spirit, the spirit of a male in a female body. So now we're going to help God out and we're going to mutilate this female body. We're going to put uh, hormones in the female body. We're going to do all kinds of things, all kinds of therapy and stuff in the female uh, mind and, and, and to her body so we can fix what God created. And yet you say today, made in the image of God and deserving dignity, respect, and support. I don't believe that, that, that anybody who is showing signs of a mental illness at any time a man thinks he's a woman, he's got a mental problem and he has a spiritual problem, say what you will or may. I do not think that that person should be treated without dignity. I do not think that that person should be treated without respect. But I do not believe that you should support such lunacy. I do not believe that you should say I support you and call uh, uh, him a uh, 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 he a she or a she a he look at this on this day and every day on this day and every day go ahead on now we recognize the resilient strength and joy of transgender non-binary non-gender conforming people I thought you said they were made in the image of God so if they're transgender non-binary, no gender at all, uh, non-conforming people, how are they celebrating the image of God when the Bible said that God made them male and he made them female? I'm confused, but you know, I'm not the smartest guy, so uh, you, you probably understand why a silly Bible-believing, cornfield preacher like me would be uh, confused by this. We celebrate the activism and determination that have fueled the fight for transgender equality. We acknowledge the adversity, and look at this, they're talking about me. Gary, they brought me up. I don't know why they brought me up. The adversity and discrimination that the transgender community continues to face across uh, our nation and around the world. Visibility matters, and so many transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming Americans are thriving. They certainly are, like never before. Amen to that, uh, brother, uh, uh, Mr. President. 
And like never before, they are sharing their stories in books. Yeah, there's a book out they have now. It's called the Gay BCs. It's, it's aimed at children. So do you celebrate this, uh, Mr. President? Do you celebrate children in the first grade, the second grade, the third grade, the fourth grade being taught uh, sexual identity by school teachers? Don't you think things like that should be uh, uh, left up to parents? So you're celebrating the stories in books and in magazines, breaking glass ceilings. They certainly are breaking glass ceilings. Uh, uh, there was a family hour uh, on television where they wouldn't show certain things. But today at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, noonday, 4 o'clock in the, in the afternoon, 5 o'clock in the evening, 6 o'clock in the evening, so forth and so on. You, you, the, Hollywood is showing people of the same sex kissing each other. And, and on black channels, the, every other commercial is running some kind of medicine. I won't name it. So that says, you know, do not stop loving who you love. Don't stop being who you are. And, you know, take this medicine. And they show two men kissing each other. Blah! Make me want to throw up. It's wickedness, it's, it's godlessness, and I am responding to this proclamation, this proclamation from no, no less than the president of the United States. And I know you Catholics out there feel bad because this goes against Catholic doctrine. And But you know what, Gary, I don't know whether it feel bad or not, because I know of a whole lot of my Protestant friends that says wooden, wooden, what you don't understand, wooden is, not wooden, 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 what you don't understand, wooden is, you got to celebrate wooden, you got to separate your, your, your politics, wooden, from your Christianity, wooden, okay, you know what, wooden, there's more to this thing than just one thing, yeah, but you know what, how many things did God destroy Sodom and Gomorrah for? This is, this is wickedness to the core. He's celebrating uh, them. Uh, I, I got to let this go. But look at this. I'll talk more about it tonight. Uh, <laughs> breaking glass ceilings uh, of representation on television. You're right. On movie screens. You're right. Enlisting once again to serve proudly and openly in our military. That's right, we need to get rid of the orange man with funny hair so that the government would go back to paying for sexual reassignment surgery, but you celebrate the people for being made in the image of God, but then you go cut off what God put there. What kind of sense does that make? Uh, so they're, they're, they're serving openly in the military, getting elected and making policies at every level of government and running businesses, curing diseases and serving our communities in countless other ways. Despite the progress, trans transgender Americans continue to face discrimination, harassment and barriers of opportunity. Transgender girls, women and girls, especially transgender men. Look at this, women uh, uh, and girls of color. Did you, do you? Oh, I got to go. But I, I knew it. There's always an attempt to link the blackness with perversion. Now, brothers and sisters who are watching this, I'm old enough to remember when you, we were smart enough to know that, that it was an insult to compare the beautiful glow of our skin, our tones, our multiple hues, the melanin that's in us, the things that give us the color that we possess. We were insulted, especially in the 80s. When it, well, it's, uh, it's just like being black. Black folks said, wait a minute. But, oh, I know what happened. We all know what happened. Obama happened. And now we're not insulted by being compared to um, perversion. And, and we should. Look at this. Expect the transgender girl, transgender women and girls of color continue to face uh, epidemic levels uh, of violence. And in 2021, mark the deadliest year on record 
for transgender Americans. I wonder what happened. Was it transgender Americans fighting transgender Americans? Was it a transgender American fooling a straight American? Didn't the American find out that he's with a transgender American? I would, I would certainly love to ex you to explain uh, uh, what these things mean that somebody wrote for you, Mr. President, because we know you didn't write it. So my time is up. I didn't mean to spend all my time on this, but, th but there's so much more. But this is, look, this is still the day that the Lord have made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it because our God is good. But I'm telling you right now, if you think that Patrick Wooden is going to wish you a happy uh, transgender visibility day, <laughs> It'll never happen. It'll never happen as long as I live. I, I, I'm not going down like that. I'm not going out like that. I believe that the God of the Bible got it right. He got it right with me. He got it right with you. Gary, he got it right with you. God is, God knows what he's doing. He made them male and female and no political party, no elected official, no regular, normal man can go against what God has done. And I want to just say this. This is to the Supreme Court. This is to all who are in authority. The Bible said that God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. That is, the true and living God standeth in the congregation of the mighty, and he rules, he judges amongst the G-O-D-S, small G-O-D-S, the little Elo Elohims, men of authority, you know, like presidents, Supreme Court justices, uh, oligarchs, uh, 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 dictators, powerful people. How long will, will ye judge unjustly? God is asking. And accept the persons of the wicked. God says, defend the poor and the father, fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and the needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. That is God's divine order. His order that he put on in place, it's out of course. It's moved. We, we have gone to, from, to celebrating mental illness, celebrating people who have major problems. And what about the people who, I don't know, do you call it these trans? D? When you go, you, 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 you went, you, I don't know how to even say it. You went from being what God made you to transitioning to being the opposite sex. And then you found out that it wasn't all that it kind of, that it chalked up to be. Then you transitioned back. There are many people that way, my friends. And this proclamation doesn't acknowledge them at all. It doesn't acknowledge them at all. But God said this to, to you power brokers who think that you're stronger and mightier than God. And I'll close with this. God said in verse 6 of Psalms 82, read it yourself when, I, when, I, when, you, when you finish listening to this. God says, I have said, you are God. You are Elohims, you are leaders, you are men in position like God, you are lawmakers, you are achievers, you are power brokers, you have influence. God says, you are gods and all of you are children of the most high, but you shall die like men and shall fall like one of the princes. No matter how much power you may think you have, I'm here to say to everybody watching, regardless to the office you hold, regardless to the power you may wield, there's something, death is the great equalizer. We're going to all die. We're going to all have to stand before the true and living God. And what are you going to tell him when you, when you got to stand before the maker of all things and say to him, uh, well, Lord, I just, uh, I, I know what your word said, but I just, I, I just thought that I was, uh, smarter than you are. And I, I, I realized that, uh, the constitution gave people the right uh, to pursue happiness. And so, 
Uh, I endorse that which you call an abomination. Let me see how that's going to work out for you. Meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I've run a little long, but I, can you believe it? Can you believe it? This is where we are in America today. We can't stop Putin. We're scared to offend him. Can't do anything about so many of the problems today. We've stopped even prosecuting uh, uh, lawbreakers. And just we're going, we're going in the wrong direction. But it's all right. It's still the day that the Lord has made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And meet me right here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God of Christ. You think I'm fired up now? Come back and see me tonight. And uh, we'll be streaming. So be, be a part of the service for... Bible study. Yes. <laughs> Bible study. We're going to study the word of God together. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I am going to stand up for God's truth. And I want you to be there with me and, and, and give and, and show me some love to my streaming audience. And those who are online who agree with me, give me a great big amen. See you tonight.